Akita Inu 101. Why do families receive a small statue of an Akita when a child is born? Write what you think the answer is in the comments below and we'll reveal the answer at the end of the video, so watch till the end. Hey everybody, welcome to Top 10 Doggy. Today, we're going to go over really cool dog breed info for Akita Inus. History and Background The Akita Inu originates from Japan. The name Akita Inu comes from Akita Prefecture in Japan, which hints at where they are from, but not necessarily their purpose. In fact, before Akita Inus got their name, they were referred to as snow country dogs. The Akita Inu is one of six Japanese Spitz breeds. Spitz breeds are dogs characterized by their pointy ears, long snouts, thick fur and striking resemblance to wolves. For instance these dogs all look similar, they're all Japanese Spitz breeds. However, they are a small subsection of the overall Spitz breeds because you also have Spitz breeds like the Siberian Huskies, Alaskan Malamutes, Finnish Spitz, and many more from outside of Japan that look very similar. The immediate ancestors of the Akita Inu are most likely the Matagi Inu combined with a few other breeds. The Akita is actually a bit of a Franken dog, if you will. Apparently, a banished aristocrat spent decades in northern Japan trying to craft the perfect hunting dog. At one point, the Akita Inu was only used by royal Japanese families and samurais as guard dogs and companions. The Akita Inu's ancestry dates back at least 1,000 years. Northern Japan gets pretty cold, so the locals there used the Matagi Inu, and later the Akita, for hunting and guarding. Nowadays, Akitas are house pets or trained as police dogs. Due to the Akita's independent nature and outstanding courage, they were really good at their job. In fact, there was a story of a loyal Akita named Hachiko, who would wait by the train for his owner to return. Even after the owner passed away, Hachiko waited at the train every day for over nine years until he also passed away. That's a pretty sad story and tells a lot about how loyal Akitas are. The Akita Inu came to its current form by crossbreeding with Tosa Inus and Mastiffs to make them even bigger. Furthermore, they also fell on hard times as many other dog breeds in Japan during World War II. However, they were preserved by loyal owners to be declared as a national monument in Japan in 1931. In 1937, Helen Keller was given an Akita Inu as a gift from the Emperor and she brought it back with her as the first Akita Inu to go to the United States. The Akita Inu would later go on to be recognized in the American Kennel Club, which is essentially a dog encyclopedia. Appearance as far as appearance, Akita Inus have two main looks, which have names American Akita and the original Akita Inu. The American Akita is typically heavier, with a thicker coat and has a plethora of fur colors. The American Akita has a more boxy-shaped head and kind of looks more like a Wookiee. On the other hand, the original Akita looks more like a really big Shiba Inu. Akita Inu, for the most part, are medium to large-sized dogs, coming in at a height of 24 to 28 inches or 61 to 71 centimeters and weighing 70 to 130 pounds or 32 to 59 kilograms on average. These mega doges have long, pointy snouts with soft, round cheeks and a standard black button nose. Their eyes are black or dark brown and their eyebrows are for the most part, connected to their urogiro or not well defined. Urogiro is the Japanese name of the white fur color on the face and the underside of the dog. Their ears can best be described as upright and pointed like a fox's. The fur coats of these mega doges are extremely thick to withstand extreme cold. Their fur colors are red, sesame, brindle, fawn and white. They are very muscular dogs and strong enough to hunt small bears apparently. Their tails are curled up behind their backs. That's right, this is another dog breed that uses the signature Cinnabon tail technique. Traits and behavior. Akita Inus are typically independent, courageous and loyal. They commonly display independent behavior by being very calculated and quiet. For example, these dogs have a nature for not trusting anyone except their owners and will even suddenly strike other house pets without warning. For this reason, Akita Inus are commonly described as stubborn and suggested to be socialized with other animals and people from a young age. They also commonly display courage by showing no fear regardless of what is in front of it. For example, these dogs will stand up to any other dog that shows up to its territory even if the other dog has no ill intentions. Their loyalty can also be seen in the way they follow their owners and guard their homes. For these reasons, this dog is praised for its extreme loyalty, but cautiously watched for sudden aggression. Exercise and trainability. 
On average, Akita Inus are moderately active dogs with a tendency to be energetic and need to go on daily walks or at least 60 minutes of activity a day. However, Akita Inus are adaptable to more sedentary lifestyles, but may not be suited for an apartment lifestyle as they are larger animals and need space to move. Akita Inus are likely to aggressively chase after other animals while on walks. Akita Inus have been described as challenging to train and require a strong and dominant owner. Akita Inus are not one of those breeds you can really trust off of the leash even if trained. If you own an Akita Inu, you may want to start training your dog from an early age, using positive reinforcement with something they value, such as food or praise. Furthermore, these dogs are really smart and independent thinkers so you have to be patient with them. Try to get your dog out to socialize with other people and dogs to prevent them from being overly aggressive, territorial and selfish with their food or toys. If you like the video so far please make sure to hit that like button. And check out the link in the description if you want to train your dog to be more obedient by unlocking your dog's natural intelligence. Maintenance and care. Speaking of fun activities to do with your dog, you may also want to consider the level of maintenance for owning an Akita Inu. Akita Inus are low maintenance dogs, not requiring more than the basic sustenance, love and attention that the average dog needs. However, there's a giant asterisk next to low maintenance. For these types of dogs, because they constantly clean themselves, and tend to freak out when being groomed, and shed even more than Shiba Inus do, you will want to brush them regularly every one to two days. However, baths don't have to be as frequent as with other dog breeds because of their cat-like cleaning habits. Just like with other dogs, it's good to keep their teeth, ears, and fur clean, but besides constant brushing, they are pretty low maintenance. By doing these things you can help them be happier and healthier. Health Conditions Akita Inus are fairly healthy dog breeds, but can have genetic complications that include hip and elbow dysplasia, patella luxation, hypothyroidism, progressive retinal atrophy, bloat and autoimmune disease. So maintain a vigilant eye and regular health checks from puppyhood on and if your dog shows signs of unusual pain or behavior, it's better to react sooner than later. It can be difficult to detect these conditions in a growing puppy, however, if you find a reputable breeder who is committed to breeding the healthiest animals possible, they should be able to produce a health registry that shows the lineage of the dog has been screened and deemed healthy for breeding. When an Akita Inu gets examined for hip dysplasia, elbow dysplasia, autoimmune thyroiditis, patella luxation and an eye exam every year and every two years after the age of six, the owner can have the results submitted to the Orthopedic Foundation for Animals or OFA to be assigned a Canine Health Information Center number or Sheik number for short. This will put the Akita Inu in an online database so anyone with that number can look up the dog's health status before buying. This organization is for dogs residing in the US and Canada, but the OFA website states owners can submit their country's equivalent health screening results for dogs residing outside the US or Canada and it will be reviewed on a case-by-case -case basis. Despite following all the best practices, any dog can still develop many health complications or diseases naturally. However, advances in veterinary medicine can help your dog live a good life if you notice signs early and act appropriately. Furthermore, the easiest way to prolong your Akita Inu life is keeping him at a healthy weight and regular exercise. These dogs have an average lifespan of 10 to 12 years. Popularity. Some of the most famous dogs from this breed include Malcolm the Akita, Shiro, and of course Hachiko. Malcolm is an American Akita based in Bordeaux, France and is known for posting popular photos on Instagram and starting a successful blog site. The dog's owner, May, started posting photos of Malcolm on Instagram and giving advice on how to train an Akita and people really enjoyed the content, so the owner continued posting more. Shiro is known for his popular Instagram and beautiful white fur coat as his Japanese name implies. The dog's owner posted photos of Shiro on Instagram just for friends and family and Shiro's following quickly grew. After realizing that people wanted to see more of Shiro, the owner continued to post more and more. Now Shiro and his owner have had the opportunity to travel to many different locations and take many more photos. Last but not least is the legendary Hachiko. Hachiko is known for his unwavering loyalty to his owner even in death. In the 1920s the dog's owner, Isaburo Weno, took Shibuya train station in Tokyo to work every day and would be greeted by Hachiko at the train station when he returned from work. Unfortunately, one day the owner passed away from a brain hemorrhage and would not return to the train station. However, Hachiko continued to arrive at the train station every day patiently waiting for his owner. 
The loyalty of Hachiko earned him a bronze statue in that same train station, movies based on his story, and popularizing Akita Inus as one of the most loyal dogs ever. Recommendation. If you're looking to own an Akita Inu, due to the fact that Akita Inus are large dogs with an ingrained hunting sense, very independent, and shed a lot, we recommend an owner who is patient, responsible, and dedicated to training. Seriously though, unfortunately this breed is restricted or straight up banned in certain countries and cities. Do your research for your location and be responsible if you choose to own an Akita Inu. Having these qualities will ensure that the dog is properly taken care of and with a compatible owner. You can expect to pay $1,000 to $2,500 for the average Akita Inu or $3,500 to $5,500 for a top-of-the-line Akita Inu. I bet you didn't know that when a child is born in Japan, the family will usually receive a small Akita statue as a sign of good health and fortune. I guess an angel gets more than just its wings. Let us know if you got that question right in the comments below. Don't forget to check out the links in the description. Thanks for watching.